Thank you all for coming. This is a small impromptu ceremony. We want to acknowledge uh, many of the folks who are here who've made this possible. It's definitely a day of celebration for the club. Uh, not what we originally expected. We thought it would be 2,500 seats and a dinner and uh, a ribbon cutting and everything else that you can't do um, during the pandemic. But we thought it was still very important to acknowledge the occasion. It's a day of celebration, but importantly, it's also a day of gratitude. And it takes, I know it's an old expression, but it certainly takes a village to create something as big and wonderful that we're now standing Thank in. you everyone for being here. I can't tell you how happy we are in the town of Norwood to be here. The last time I was in this building was almost six months ago to the day. <laughs> and it was a day before uh, we say that COVID hit in Norwood because that was the day we got our first case. And um, the last six months, as everyone knows, the world has changed. But I think it's a testament to the next 100 years of the club that we're here today after six months that have changed the world. And we're looking forward to not just the next six months here in Norwood with the club, but the next 100 years with the club. And we just couldn't be happier to be here. It takes, it takes a village, it really does. And uh, if I go back uh, over 20 years of different board members and, and the number of board members we have, which is 15 every year, uh, if you count the number of people that have been involved in this process over the years, some of them are here, Jane sitting there right now, uh, was one of the first uh, board members that I that had. And, and Ann's been sitting with us for a number of years now. But we have so many people to be thanked. Uh, not only staff now, uh, we had no staff at, the, at that time. We had uh, people at the front desk, but that was about it. And uh, this thing has grown uh, like somebody put a uh, fire under it over the last five or six years. And, uh, I gotta say, you know, I don't think we would be here if it wasn't for Doug's uh, input and what's going on and how we've moved through everything. Uh, we, we've been together for 20 some years now. Uh, worked on a number of projects together and it seems like uh, when I think of something, he's already thought of it. When he thinks of something, I've already thought of it. And it's been back and forth and it's been a great, a great team and I greatly appreciate uh, everything he's done for the club called home, courtesy of Ms. Mullen. This is our base, our favorite place, our beginning and end to each day. It's our triumph and glory that these walls tell stories as they soak up all we do and say. This is our space. Each corner is laced with items we've chosen with care. From celebratory candles to fixtures and handles, the atmosphere is just right to share. So near and so far, wherever we are, no matter how far we choose to roam, we live and we learn, but we always return. This, the place we call home. <laughs> to everyone who helped make this happen, a toast to the club and to her soul who will soon be joining us here, and a toast to Joe, to Tenley, Members past and present, thank you everybody for what you've done for us. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.
Um, it's it's honestly such an honor to be the first person to be skating out here. Um, it's a funny story actually. My parents, uh, when we were in Connecticut, um, they were one of the they were the first people to skate at the rink there, one of the rinks there. And uh, I was I was always thinking for a while now how it would be so so cool to be the first one. And to, to actually be given this opportunity is just phenomenal. Uh, something I'll remember forever, honestly. Um, it's uh, This means so much to me. I think uh, there's no facility like this else in the United States. I think this is one of the kind.